Projection of Straight Line. Today, we're diving into the world of straight line projections, focusing on the first quadrant. But before we jump in, make sure to check out my previous video on point projection. It'll be the perfect foundation for what we're exploring here now. Let's explore the various positions a line can take in the first quadrant. There are a total of nine positions, and we're going to dissect each one, understanding how they manifest in 2D representation or the intriguing orthographic view. Let's begin with position one. The line can run parallel to both the vertical and horizontal planes. Here, observe our vertical plane. When viewed from the top, the line aligns parallel to vertical plane. Likewise, when viewed from the front, it appears parallel to the horizontal plane. In this situation, projecting the front and top views onto the vertical and horizontal planes results in straight lines, and the length remains uniform in both cases. Now, let's explore position 2. The line rests on both the vertical and horizontal planes. Essentially, in the 3D view, it lies precisely at the intersection point of both axes. When we examine the front and top views, it appears similar to position 1, except both views overlap at the same point. Consequently, in this case, as we represent it in the 2D view, we draw both the front and top views on the reference line. Moving on to position 3, the line can be perpendicular to the vertical and parallel to the horizontal plane. This is visualized in the 3D view as follows. When we observe the front view, the line appears as a dot, and from the top view, it takes on the appearance of a straight line. In the 2D view, the front view manifests as a dot, positioned at a distance above the XY line. Simultaneously, the top view materializes as a vertical line below at an X distance. This is due to the line being at a certain distance above and in front of both planes. Proceeding to position 4, the line can be perpendicular to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane. In the 3D view, visualize the front view where the line appears as a straight line, while from the top view, it takes on the form of a dot. This is a notable contrast to position 3. In the 2D view, we'll sketch a straight line for the front view, positioned at a distance above the XY line. Simultaneously, the top view will be represented as a point below, at an X distance. Keep in mind that the front and top views will always maintain alignment with each other. Moving on to position 5, the line can be inclined to the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane. Here, we can see the line is making an angle with a vertical plane, and it is parallel to a horizontal plane. When we see it from the front view, we can observe that the line looks shorter than its actual length. This is because the line is inclined at an angle with a vertical plane. And when we view it from the top, we can see the line at an angle. This is how the line looks in the front and the top view. Similarly, position 6 can be. The line can be inclined to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane. Here, we can see the line is making an angle with a horizontal plane, and it is parallel to a vertical plane. When we see it from the front view, we can observe that the line is at an angle with the reference line. And when we view it from the top, it looks shorter than its actual length. This is because the line is inclined at an angle with a horizontal plane. This is how the line looks in the front and the top view. Moving on to position 7. The line is inclined to the horizontal plane and in the vertical plane. When we view from the front, the line appears like this at an angle, and when we look from the top, the line appears on the reference line and looks shorter than the actual length. Similarly, position 8 can be. The line is inclined to the vertical plane and in the horizontal plane. When we view from the front, the line appears like this on the reference line, and the line will be shorter than the actual length of the line. When we look from the top, the line looks at an angle to the reference line. Moving on to the next and final position, position 9. The line can be inclined to both the vertical plane and the horizontal plane. This is a very important case to understand, as most questions are based on this position of the line. In the 3D view, we can observe that the line is inclined to both VP and HP. What makes this case very special is that when we see the line from both the front and top views, in both perspectives, the length of the line appears shorter than the actual length. From the front view, the line is at an angle with the horizontal plane. When viewed from the top, it appears at an angle with the vertical plane. This is how it is represented in 2D view. In both views, we are not obtaining the actual length of the line. In our next video, 
we will solve problems on how to determine the actual length of the line when it is inclined at an angle to both planes. I trust that this video has provided valuable insights into the various positions where a line can be situated in the first quadrant. If you're eager to delve deeper into the realm of engineering drawing, consider enrolling in my comprehensive engineering drawing course. Visit adtwstudy.com or simply click the link in the description below. Your support is appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content.